and pans and welcome back. Let's do part two of my 40s and 50s haul. Let's see what I have from the 1950s. So I'm going to start with the great thing. Well, they're all great things, right? These swanky swigs. You're not going to be able to see them. We'll put a little, a little piece of white paper in them. Anyway, sorry, not a good way to start off. So these are so cute for fall. I actually found these like a year ago with my daughter. We were at Goodwill and I saw these and I wasn't familiar with this pattern. I'm always drawn to the brighter colored ones and the ones that don't really have an image, but just a design. But look how adorable that is. It's a little deer and her babe and a little squirrel and her babe. But, or, you know, maybe it's the daddy, I don't know. But look how cute they are. And on the top, they have little animals running across, like little, you don't really need the paper there for that little forest animals and farm animals. There's the little pig there. Well, they had eight of these puppies there. And I looked at each one. They had no flaws. They didn't look like they were ever used. So I scooped them all up. They were 99 cents a piece and they're in perfect condition. Um, I have six of them listed right now in my Dot Likes Red Shop. I thought they would just be so darling for fall. Maybe we found them after fall. Maybe it was more like Christmas time that we found them. I can't remember. There was a reason I didn't list them. Uh, laziness probably being at the top of that list. But anyway, aren't they so sweet? I'm gonna show you one more time because they're so cute. And with this cottage core phase that's or fad that's happening right now with everybody enjoying little woodland cottagey things, I mean, if I had a cottage in the forest, I would want those. These are just too cute. These are gonna need a little, you know, they need something inside of them. Hold on. All right, well, I couldn't really find a way to make it look really great, so I'm just gonna hold. They're a little hodl set or carafe. I don't like the word hodl. I'm fumbling as usual. A little his and hers hodl set <laughs> made by Corning Pyrex for Silex. It says Silex on the lid. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not, but you can see where the writing is. It says Silex, S-I-L-E-X. I had never seen these before. You see these little hodls all the time and you can see some that look exactly like this except for instead of it saying hers, they have just little gold bands running across the top. Um, on the back, it says Silex with some numbers, but they were made in the early 50s. You probably won't be able to see that there, but you can see where it's, there's writing there. Maybe you can see it. The one on the hers is not quite so how many times am I going to do that? Anyway, that one's harder to see. So they originally came with a little, a little mini stand that held a little candle to keep it warm. Can you imagine putting that on your breakfast table? <laughs> They're so cute. My daughter, who many of you know, is getting married next month. She came by today and saw these and she said, oh, those are so cute, but she's trying not to take so many things. So 
there's those from the 1950s. So once she decides if she wants them or not, I'll decide whether or not they'll go up in my shop. Well, if she doesn't want them, they will go up in the shop. Um, yes, so since we're mentioning her, her name is Robin. I bought this for her. She doesn't really watch the videos anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, we found some figurines this weekend and I kind of snuck her into my basket. She's a little bride. Oh, she's so cute. Her hair reminds me of my daughter. She's got room for just a tiny little flower bud or you could put a little succulent or something in there. So cute. She's got a little bit of gilding on her. She is in excellent condition. Oh, wait a minute. No. <gasps> no. Please, please, please. No, no, no. Oh, she's not. <gasps> she's got a little crack. Oh, me. I don't know. I can't tell if it's a crack or what. If it's just dirt. Oh, well her neck there something anyway she was um she's japan 1958 hh and then part of the writing is under one of those little pads but it says 1958 japan right on the bottom there goodness you can see that yeah isn't she cute she needs a little cleaning so even if she has a little crack. Oh yeah, she's got a crack back here too. <laughs> she's not repaired, but she does have some little cracking. Well, she's gonna go to Robin, crack or no. And this guy, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw him too. He's from Japan, almost certainly from the 1950s little choir boy. He'd be really cute for Christmas. I think I listed him already in my doll likes red shop. Or maybe I'm waiting. I really should, you know, make sure to know those things before I get started. Unfortunately, I didn't. I would never get started. So here he is. He is adorable. Yeah. And he says Dixon made in Japan. And he also has a stamp also. But He's got the flocking and the spaghetti. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess, I don't even know if you would call it spaghetti. Is spaghetti more when it's made out of the ceramic or are these little fabric ruffles also included in that term? Maybe someone can tell me. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it either way. <laughs> um, hard, to, hard to get it clean. Isn't he cute? All right. All right. Just have a couple more things that Alicia brought me and they are not all marked and I'm just guessing that they're from the 50s. I would bet that they are or pretty close thereabouts. The first is this very cute kitty cat salt and pepper set. I mean, if you lined up all the Made in Japan salt and pepper sets, imagine how many times that would go around the earth. <laughs> These are not marked Made in Japan. I would bet they were and that their little sticker is gone, but maybe not. I don't know who made them. This one has a little bow. I don't know if the other, the other one looked like it had something. Like there's some glue there and something missing. They, they have some problems, <laughs> these little orange tabbies. This one, we'll call it a, the, the girl because her bow is on. Her ear, it's, it feels rough here, but it doesn't really look chipped. If you compare it to the other ear, it almost just looks like it didn't get painted and glazed. So I'm not quite sure what happened there but it's, you know, not quite right. You know how they mark the feral cats with the little clip in their ear? Maybe that's what happened to her. Maybe she was a little feral, a little feral pepper. 
yeah, they have their stoppers and they have the cutest faces. Now, did he have something wrong with him? He did have, he had a similar type of flaw. He had a chip and I don't know if someone tried to paint over that or I'm not sure what happened there. It's not really rough, but it's also not quite right. So we'll call this the little feral cat salt and pepper set. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Yeah, so those will be for sale. They are not yet. Oh goodness, these next ones. Didn't clean them. You want to see them anyway? <laughs> They're funny. All right. Let me just show you the other ones one more time. Sour puss. Sour pusses. Oh man, maybe they're sour because they're painted those strange made in Japan colors with these just random. <laughs> but don't you love it? I do. These guys have a mark. These have a Japan mark. I'm calling them 1950s. I don't know, what would you call them? Would you call them some different than that? You think they're older? One's got a cork. One does not. <laughs> Robin really liked these. She liked their faces. Just have to hold them up to the... <laughs> All right, well. They have some issues, these kitties, but I'm going to sell them anyway. They're obviously not going to be a lot of money. And Alicia brought me this. He doesn't have any marking on him at all. He might be older than the 50s. He might be newer. He's got a couple little issues too, but I just thought he was so cute. He's a little ducky creamer. Now, I have to say it, there's a lot of little animal creamers and people collect them. There's some in glass and ceramic, but isn't it weird having your milk, you know, come out of its mouth? <laughs> I think it's a little strange. But, you know, he would be, he would be really cute as a little planter too. He would be super cute. He's very sweet and I like him, whether you have milk in there or not. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? I do have one more group of items and I wasn't too sure about them, so I didn't include them. They are what I think are Fire King um, forest green bowls. And I think they're in one of the shapes that they made the red ruby out of, they're not marked on the bottom, which some of those, well, most of those were not, I believe. So I don't know. They're definitely that same forest green. I have some charm plates in this exact color. And they are beautiful. I don't know if they're from the 40s or 50s. And I just kind of got tired looking through my books at the last minute. I ought not have waited till the last minute, but Alicia brought me those. And there's a set of four cereal bowls. They're probably about, I don't know, six inches or so across. Maybe. So there's four of those and they will be for sale. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming back. I appreciate you stopping by. Stop. All right.